Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to George's L. Hage, for this one. Amy controls Sundial of the Infinite. Can she use it to keep her dress drown around forever? Okay, so the answer to this question is unfortunately no, you cannot. The reason is because if you take a look at the triggered ability on Dress Down, you can see it triggers during the end step. Not either player's end step, just the end step. So that means it triggers during all of them, anytime it's the end step. Of course, you can see the problem. You can only activate Sundial of the Infinite during your turn. So you would be able to save it once and keep it around until your opponent's turn, but then when your opponent's end step came around, you would have to sacrifice. So that didn't work out super well. But the idea was there, right? So maybe we can come up with a situation that works out a little bit better if we have an ability that's worded a little bit differently. So let's take a look, for example, at Thirsting Axe. You can see that Thirsting Axe's ability only triggers during your end step, and that means that this trick will work. You could use Sundial the Infinite to keep the creature that Thirsting Axe is equipped to around forever, whether you're attacking with it or not. To see how this would work, there's actually two different ways. First of all, you could of course use it preemptively. If you activate Sundial of the Infinite anytime during your second main phase, or before then, then that means there just won't be an end of turn step, and that means the ability won't have the time that it's supposed to trigger, and so it just won't. The other way that you could get out of this is if you used it in response. As you can see here, one of the things that ending the turn does is it takes all the spells and abilities that are on the stack and it exiles them. That means that if you activate Sundial of the Infinite in response to Thirsting Axe's trigger, then the Thirsting Axe trigger will get exiled and it won't resolve, so your creature will stick around again. So that worked out a lot better, but that's not even my favorite one. That honor actually goes to Through the Breach and triggered abilities that are worded like it. Let's say it's our turn and we have Sundial of the Infinite and we use Through the Breach to put a creature onto the battlefield. Now, can we use Sundial of the Infinite to help us out here? And the answer is yes we can. So in the previous question, there was actually a couple of ways that would work. But in this case, there's only one really good way to do it. If you activate Sundial of the Infinite preemptively, that means your creature will stick around for an extra turn, because just like in this Thirsting Axe example, your creature will not be sacrificed during the skipped end of turn step. However, as you can see here, if a triggered ability is scheduled to take place during the next instance of a step or phase, and that step or phase gets skipped, then that triggered ability will just stick around and trigger during the actual next instance of that step or phase that doesn't get skipped. So in this case, you would have the Sundial of the Infinite help your creature stick around for one extra turn, just like the Dress Down, but when your opponent's end step came, well, the game would see, oh, it's the next end step that actually happened, and the triggered ability will go on the stack then, forcing you to sacrifice. The better way to do this would probably be to put that ability on the stack during your end step and then activate Sundial of the Infinite. If you were to do it that way, then that means the sacrifice trigger is actually going to get exiled. However, the game knows that the trigger did indeed go on the stack, and so that means that it won't be waiting around for you during the next end step and the one after that. It only triggers during the next end step, and there's only one next end step. So if this triggered ability does go on the stack and gets countered or otherwise leaves, well, the creature is going to stick around forever, because that triggered ability has already happened, and it's not going to happen again, only once. So, you would be able to keep your creature around forever if you'd used it that way, and you would only need one sundial activation to do so. Pretty cool trick. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.